Welcome back, friends, and happy Friday. Our friend Chris Lloyd is back with his reviews of new movies that are out this weekend. The Film Yap is the place to go for him. Chris, good to have you here. Wonderful to be here on Eclipse Weekend. Yeah. It's just going to be a great time to be in a movie theater. Maybe not on Monday or go to that early show before the Eclipse crowds can yes. get you hard. Yeah. What do you know about some new movies that are out this weekend, Chris? we got a nice little eclectic mix, kind of smaller, medium-sized films, but I like those kinds of movies. Uh, first one up is Wicked Little Letters, and this stars uh, Oscar winner Olivia Colman and Oscar nominee Jesse Buckley, two of my favorite actors are working today. Okay. It's based on a true story set in 1920s England where these terrible poisonous letters, poison pen letters, were being delivered and it was a shocking thing and actually became like an issue with the uh, British government at the time. Hmm. Uh, and uh, Coleman plays like the, the spinster who's kind of the target of these letters and Jesse plays the um, uh, brash Irish immigrant next door who is suspected of being the perpetrator. Oh. And I kind of looked at this exploration of them, but also some cool, interesting uh, uh, feminism undernotes about how women are you know, both the targets and sometimes the perpetrators of some of these gossipy things. Just very fun black comedy. Uh, terrific actresses, definitely worth it. Sounds like an interesting yeah, yeah. little period piece. There. Yes, indeed. Yeah, indeed. 1920s England. Yeah. Very niche. Yeah. So, yeah. De definitely a right turn would be Dev Patel, uh, stars and directed in a uh, first film he's directed called Monkey Man, okay. which is all fights, 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 kind of a John Wick style movie. Okay. He plays a, a, a young man whose mother was killed by some evil politicians and police when he was a child, um, and now he's back. Uh, he's been uh, working in the fight clubs. Uh, known for wearing this monkey mask, that's where the name comes from. Huh. And then just goes on a great big huge revenge spree, lots of punching, killing, shooting, all this kind of stuff. I haven't seen this one, but Alec Toombs has a review uh, up on the app and says it's, it's enjoyable. One of those ones, if you've seen the trailer, the movie doesn't quite live up to the trailer. Uh, his actually biggest complaint is the fight scenes are so well done that he wanted more of them and there weren't enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And I saw producer Jordan Peele's name pop yep. up there too. Yep. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And is this next one Shada? Shada. So this is a film, uh, it's actually an Australian film, but it's about a woman from Iran uh, in the 1990s who has uh, gone there with her husband and daughter to study, but then uh, she's suffering abuse at the hands of her husband um, and separates from him. They go into a woman's shelter with her daughter, uh, and then just sort of this journey of, you know, coming out into like Western culture and finding maybe she doesn't like, you know, the way things uh, have, have gone in her culture, uh, and just sort of her opening up and blooming. Um, well done, well acted movie. Um, kind of, I've seen so many of these types of movies, yeah. uh, you know, and uh, I don't know. Well done, but I'm overly familiar is how I would put this. And this one's just okay. coming out, limited release. If you don't see it in a the theater new year this week, maybe it'll be out next week. Okay, okay. Chris, we're going to keep cruising. we got about a minute left. Someone Like You. This is a, um, I guess you call it a faith-based film, but it's a okay. romance uh, based on the best-selling novel by Karen Kingsbury. It stars Sarah Fisher as a woman, young woman, not giving anything away. Uh, very early on, she dies. Okay. Um, and then what happens is they find out that she had a sister that she never knew of through um, uh, uh, adoption. Uh, and ends up going and tracking her down, uh, and sounds a little creepy, ends up falling in love with her. But it works out, it's a little warm movie. Okay. Uh, kind of a little soap opera-ish, yeah. if, if you like that sort of thing. And last week we got The First Omen, which is, as you might guess, is a prequel to The Omen, the, you know, My Devil is the Child movie. Ah. Uh, uh, and uh, ah. this is set in uh, like 1970s, uh, where an American uh, nun initiate gets involved in all these things with evil priests and devils. I, I've, I haven't seen this one, but I've heard it's very, very gruesome. Okay. It if, looks if, intense. If you love supernatural horror, <laughs> sounds like you want to check that one out. We'll go to filmyap.substack.com to check out Chris and his team's reviews. Hit that subscribe button while you're there to get all kinds of updates, enter some contests and giveaways. Chris, thanks so much for being here. Hope you have a good weekend. Always a pleasure. Thanks, have a great man. One. Thank you. Coming up next, our friend Chef Kylie Scales and the cutest little sous chef around Penelope are going to teach us how to make her total blackout eclipse cookies. We love it when she's here and we'll be right back. <laughs>